My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. And so, because of their presence, certain divine purposes are possible. Certain possibilities are finding expression. So, we don't honor them for who they are. We honor them for the dispensation that they awakened and they sustained. And if you don't know this, you will not wake up to the fact that you too represent a dispensation. There are many things that can happen except as you appear. When you study through scripture, you will see things like until the time or in the days of, in the days of Shamgar, in the days of, in the days of, because those days are tied to those men. It's a protocol in the spirit that divine purposes can never be born except as men appear. That agenda that is divine can never find expression except as men appear. So the definition of a man in the spirit is nothing related to biological expression. Men are seasons. Men are dispensations. There are certain men you meet and your season will open. Not because you fasted, but because they carry the key of David. And if they enter your ecosystem, whether you, you like it or not, they unlock things. That's what they carry. And when God invests in a man to that degree, that man is called God's man. They are God's men. It's a protocol. The salvation of men is with men. That's why when God wanted to save the world, he had to become a man. And after Jesus left, there are many men declaring his generation. It's an equation in the spirit. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8, he said he sent his word to Jacob, enlightening upon Israel. That means one man undergoes a process, carries a burden, is granted access to a grace, and when that man shows up, he makes it available to a generation. This is how spiritual tribes are born. A spiritual tribe is a function of a dealing that a man entered and a grace that is allocated to him. And on the strength of that dealing and that grace, he makes it available to a people connected to him. So that dimension becomes the signature of those people. When you find anybody connected to that tribe, the anointing at work in his life becomes an address that reveals where his roots are. And it's not a prerogative for few. It is something that anybody can access because none of us came here by accident. The reason a multitude follows one man is not just because he has a grace for multitude. It's a sign that many have not awoken as sons. Because when we begin to rise, many tribes will be formed. Many dispensations will be opened. And it's not a function or a reality for a bishop, a prophet or an apostle. It's for every believer. In the days of old, we saw politicians represented dimensions. In the days of Daniel, it was recorded that the spirit of God dwells in men. When the hidden queen was given his record, he said in him is the spirit of the Holy Ghost. He said light and understanding, an excellent spirit is found in this man. So anybody that wants to carry excellent spirit, we need to find Daniel. Because there are encounters that provoked it. There are processes that better them and there are graces that manifest them. And until you connect to those encounters, those processes and those graces, you can never manifest an excellent spirit. If this is a possibility for everyone, then the question we should ask tonight is, what does it take to become God's man? Because I want to know it. I refuse to leave this world as a man. I came in as a man, but I will live as a dimension. I will live as a dispensation. I will live in the God order and in the God class. 
This is what the elders of old knew. And this is how they lived their lives. The Bible said when Jacob was old and he wanted to depart, he said he called his children together. Genesis 49 from verse 1. He said, gather around me. You sons of Jacob, I will tell you the things that will befall you. That's how to live. He looked at them and he defined their destinies with words. It doesn't matter. Rise and fall in government or in civilization. Those things must come to pass because a dispensation had spoken. He looked at Judah. He said, the scepter will not depart from you until Shiloh comes. Come rain, come shine. It must be so. Even when Jesus, the king of kings, came, he had to come through the line of Judah because a dispensation had spoken. And when he finished defining their destiny, the Bible said he gathered himself and he rested with his fathers. These men don't die. When they finish the assignment, they sleep. Christianity is not a religion. It's a mystery that the world will never know. But we must search, search for these things and lay hold on them. When you become a dispensation, you don't need publicity. That dispensation we speak, he has an utterance. When John caught it, the Bible said he was in the wilderness. While he was in the wilderness, the whole of Jerusalem and Judea went to him. The whole city went to find him. Because men are looking for dimensions. Men are looking for dispensations. There are people dying today of strange illnesses. If you become a dispensation in the healing order, they will go through unimaginable stress to find you. Because they know if they meet you, they will receive of the resources of that dispensation. There are men going through untold poverty and pains. When they find a dispensation of prosperity, they will pay the price to look for him. And when they get such a person, they will receive of that thing. So men don't come to you because they like you. They come to you because of what you represent in the spirit. And for you to represent something, you must become God's man. Believers are not, are not stirred for the right things. We pursue vanity and we don't pursue eternal things. That's why many times, as heartbreaking as this is, we must confront it. We are many, but there are few men that represent anything in the spirit. Uh -huh. I'm sensing a fire. I'm sensing a fire. There's a revivalist dimension. Ah, help the brother. Help him. I'm sensing. I'm sensing a fire. I'm sensing a fire. Somebody is about to be set on fire. You are about to burn for your generation. You are a spectacle. Ah. Hey. Ah. 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 Hey. Ah. Hey. There's a power to get wealth. It's not the power to become rich. It's the power to get wealth. That means you have the ability to create wealth. And if you have the ability to create wealth, you will not just be rich. Anybody that comes into your space, you will start making them rich. And I see a, a scepter in the spirit. And somebody is being isolated. I know you may not have money now. I speak from the realms eternal. The power to get wealth is coming upon somebody 
as an anointing that cannot be resisted and so wherever you are now i speak as an apostle of the living god i activate that dimension take that grace now tonight stay sensitive if we navigate through your corner catch it the body of an apostolic community like this is it's hard to follow precept upon precept because you are, you are ministering to people you are ministering to the territory you are ministering to spirits and so sometimes the anointing causes you to navigate i hope you enjoyed this video and i believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and lastly make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded you can be notified thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section bye